Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is my first official video of 2016 and my biggest announcement from 2015 would be that I got engaged. So yes, very exciting and um, I took a big break from filming over December and just really enjoyed the holidays with my family and my friends and now I'm back and ready to work and ready to film. So the first video that I'm going to be doing for you this year is kind of a strange one but it's something that I I really love doing um, even though the fiance does not actually enjoy it shame he indulges me at least um, and that is playing board games so I'm going to list and show you my five top board games of all time a lot of people love these board games so I don't think um, it's gonna be anything really new to you guys but it's just a way for you to get it better get an idea of who I am and get to know me and if you are new to the channel maybe learn a bit more about me in that way so let's get to it the first one is this one right over here it's a loved favorite and it is Monopoly the South African edition because South Africa is where I live it's where I'm from so there we go and um, I don't think Monopoly is a new game for any of you but for the fun of it I'll just show you what the board looks like it's basically like quite big basically like that and um, because this is the South African edition all the places on the board are actually in South Africa so that's pretty cool um, usually on Monopoly the original Monopoly um, it didn't have these places that this one has and they also have monopolies for different countries and they would obviously have different place names on them and if you have not played Monopoly before it's basically about buying property and building on those properties and uh, owning most of the board and being able to still have money in the bank uh, it's a really fun game it is a family game um, it says on the box here uh, anywhere from eight up so let me just show you that I promise I'm not lying so anywhere from eight up ages eight up can play and it's actually for two to eight I lied two to six players you could always play in teams if you wanted to um, so that's a really awesome game the only bad thing I have to say about Monopoly is you really have to have quite a bit of time if you're gonna play Monopoly and um, it is not your hour-long game and then it's done it's really quite grueling and could get quite intense all right on to board game number two Another favorite of mine, and I think me being an English teacher, um, yeah, it just suits with that. Um, but I really enjoy anything to do with words, so there she is. Scrabble, and this one's been quite worn. Um, this is the original one, and basically if you have never played Scrabble before, I'll just show you what that board looks like. If you can get it open, so there we go. Um, and basically what you need to do is you get these little blocks, you get a certain amount of letters and you need to form different words from those letters. And um, depending on what word you form and what letters you use, you get points. And obviously at the end of the game, the person with the highest points wins. So love that one. Um, this is something that you can alter for different ages. I feel like the older the person is that is playing, the more... Uh, complicated their words will be whereas kids can also play it and do short little words so it's a really really fun game for the family and it says there if you can see I think it's gonna is it gonna focus is it gonna focus for you doesn't want to focus for you so I'll just tell you it is age 10 plus and players is two to four once again I don't think 10 plus I think um, so younger kids can definitely also play this and um, sort of get their word knowledge on. It's a good one. Alright, the third game that I'm going to show you is one of my personal favorites and I've really come to love it as of late. Um, but it's really hard, so this is definitely a more senior game. So if you are Mm, high school or older than that then you can play if you aren't then I think you're gonna struggle a little bit you can always give it a go um, and it is called Trivial Pursuit 
okay? This game makes it real. It makes my lack of knowledge very real. Um, it does say on the front cover over here, I don't know if you can see, it says age 16 plus and it's two plus players. So anywhere from two up you can play. You can also do teams if you want to do teams. And basically, I think we also bought the Masters Edition, which maybe was a very big mistake since we are not Masters. But um, basically this board looks like like so big old circle and um, you move from block to block answering different general knowledge questions so you get like a pack of cards like this you actually get two of them and then there are questions on the one side and answers on the other side but they are quite tough um, I'll give you an example of one of them um, Disney's The Lion King strongly parallels which Shakespeare play and the answer to that one is Hamlet um, there are other ones uh, that aren't like movie focused you get all sorts of different ones there's geography there's uh, science there's sport there's history all sorts but it's a really awesome game to play um, it's really nice also to take along when you're driving somewhere and just take the cards and like sort of quiz everyone in the car um, yeah, I really enjoy it, and uh, we've been playing that quite a bit this past holiday. All right, let me just pack this up. On to game number four, which I actually don't have here, so it's a bit of a cheat. Um, but it's in my classroom, and it is one that is loved by so... Ooh. Itchy eyes, sorry. It's one that's loved by so, so many people, and that is 30 seconds. Basically, you get a card, you need to explain everything on the card without using the words on the card to a teammate, and then you get points accordingly. It's an awesome game. Um, you get a junior 30 seconds so you, little kids can play. Um, you get like a more advanced one. Um, you can add packs to your pack that you originally bought. So it's really, really cool. The sky's the limit with that. Also, you can just take the cards with you in the car and play while you're driving, which is really, really fun. So that's my fourth one, but I don't have anything to show you for it. I think most of you know what I'm talking about though. And then number one game at this very moment is one that I actually have only played once. And it is called Cranium. Now we played this, instead of like having a big birthday thing this past year for my birthday, uh, a few friends got together and we just played Cranium and it was so much fun. It was so funny. We really, really enjoyed ourselves. And uh, let me just see, age-wise, it says age 16 plus. I do think that's quite appropriate. If you're a little bit younger, I'm sure you'll be able to play anywhere from like maybe 10 up or so. And then it's four plus players. So basically, Cranium combines a bit of everything. There's, let me just show you this board first. It's like a teeny tiny little board. It looks like that. And basically, it just combines like a lot of things. There's a part in it where you need to act out things. There's a part in it where you need to draw things. There's a part in it where you need to build something with clay. There's a part in it where um, you need to like do anagrams and figure out the word. It is just so, so, so much fun. Um, it's like all the board games in one. It's quite small in comparison to the other ones. It's nice for traveling with and a lot of people can play together. So that's quite cool also. And um, yeah, just been really, really loving it. All of these games are available at, um, most of them are available at like a CNA. You could probably get them at a game. Um, obviously any toy shop should have some of them or all of them. And um, they're really, really good fun. Um, they are maybe on the pricier side. Most of them are like a few hundred rand, like you're looking about 300 rand over there plus minus for a game. But they're really worth it. They last a lifetime. And um, it really is nice to bring a group of friends together or bring a family together. So that is all from me for today. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.